and I haven't been saying the prices. I'm great at this. And did I just get the wrong size? A little bit. Ah. <laughs> I just stepped on a plug. The problem with trying stuff on with tags on is it gets stuck in your hair and it hurts. Ah. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the best video ever. I'm going to be doing my Primark haul. So my stuff was in a giant bag, but flashback, you wouldn't have seen it, but flashback today to when my bag ripped. And this happened, come over here. I was holding the handle and this ripped all down here. So that video will be up, um, not next week, not the week after, the week after that. So make sure to check out for that um, when that happened because I vlogged the whole day but that is like a sneak peek of what happened. So yeah, my handle completely ripped, like just like destroyed. So I've got this one which was my mum's bag because my mum went yesterday. So today is Tuesday the 13th and yesterday is when, which was, yesterday was Monday the 12th which is when everything opened and my mum went straight away. So as I was saying, my mum went to Primark yesterday, um, which was when everything opened and she got like a big bag and then today she came with me again and we got some stuff. So I went with my friend Sienna as well. What is this piece of hair? Hello? Um, I, this is going to be a try on haul. I'm going to be doing the haul bit now and then, oh my hand's kind of muddy. Ignore that. I've just been to the park and I forgot to wash my hands. Okay, it doesn't matter. So. I'm going to be doing a try on haul so I'm going to be trying on all the clothes later after this video or tomorrow and then I'm going to insert them in between so you can see what they look like on because I just feel like when you watch try on hauls you can see what everything else looks on looks see what everything looks like on you can see what it looks like better anyways I don't know if that makes sense my eyes are going weird right I don't know if that makes sense but let's just get right on to the video so my receipt is here I didn't actually spend that much. I spent £37.50, but I had a £15 voucher, and so I only spent £22.50. So I think that's quite good for Primark, um, because in Primark, I love Primark, I like, can spend so much more money. Um, but yes, I don't have any kind of order of the stuff that I got, but most of the stuff is actually kind of essentials, and then some other stuff. So first thing that I got, so, oh, it's stuck. That's a great, what a great start. First thing that I got was this, which is a little sports bra. So they had this in white black and gray but i wanted the gray one because i wanted something different so it just looks like this just like a normal sports bra it has this little like cross at the back of this little hole and then it's got like the little pad things in but you can take them out which i actually love about the pads because it just makes them more comfy because you can take them out if you don't want them and to wash them is probably a lot easier so yes um i've just got this just because i don't have any sports bras and i needed some so this was four pounds and I think that's really good for a little sports bra. So this is the sports bra. I've just put it on here. Um, let me go. Okay, so let me move my hair out of the way. So this is it. Obviously, I've still got the label on because I don't know if it was going to fit. But it's super duper comfy. These straps are super supportive. It's not too tight. It's got adjustable straps on both sides. Um, it comes down quite nice and low. This fits like elasticated. It's super nice and comfortable. And then I'll try and show the back. This is the back. The next thing that I got was the, well I say these because there's two, so I've got this one which is this like black kind of crop top, um, I'll show you the back too, the back's literally exactly the same, but it's like a vest, but it's like a cropped vest, and then the straps are like these spaghetti straps, so the top goes like that, and the back straps are like a little bit lower than the front ones I think, like that, um, oh, but I just feel like they're very flattering, and they're really good for like when you want to wear high waisted stuff and you don't want to have to tuck it in, because it looks like this. So I got this black one and then I also got it in white. They had it in this nice pink colour as well but I did, I bought loads of pink stuff you will see in this haul. So I did not need any more pink and these are good just little basics to have because they go basically with everything. So these are really good little basic things to have and they are only, how much are these? These are only £3 so that's like a bargain and i just want to say something with the sizing of not just these like with everything i feel like sometimes it's too big sometimes it's too small so with primark you end up having like i've got extra small in these a medium in the sports bra small in this medium in that 
small in something else, extra small in that. Like it really depends on what you're buying. So make sure you check that out as well with the, with the sizes. Don't just get your size, like unfold it, make sure it looks your size. The next thing that I have on is just these, um, this, well, this little vest. I'll put them on in a second. So this is what it looks like on. It comes up to like, these are just normal waist. They're not like high waisted jeans. And it comes up just literally just to the jeans. And if you wanted to, you can put it like over. But I just think it's good because like if you want it to look like it's tucked in but not have to tuck it in. Um, the straps again, they're like spaghetti straps. I'll show you from the back. This is it from the back. So yeah, I just think it's they're really good. And let's change to the white one. Okay, so just put this on. This one feels so much tighter than the other one. You can literally see, like, look how short that one is. It feels like it just didn't go. Oh, it does. It just feels a little bit tighter than the other one for some reason. I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks on me. I'm just going to quickly check the size. Okay, so they are both the same size. I'm guessing it was just me putting it on, but this one just feels a tiny bit tighter than the other one for some reason. It still feels comfy though, and it still feels like the perfect kind of thing. And I like the way it like kind of sucks you in at the right places, and it's good basics because they go with like jeans, leggings, and basically anything. You can wear them with a skirt too, maybe. I don't know. Let's show the tops. Can you see how the black one is actually quite a lot bigger than the white one? And they're literally the exact same top. Like when you lay it down, you can literally see the difference. So I'm just a bit confused by that because they're the same size. The next thing I got is this really super duper cute pink top. So it's just like this. It's like a little bit cropped. And so these are the little um, sleeves. They're like this little rimmed bit, as you can see. And then it's also got that design all around the bottom. And then as you can see, the material is kind of like got these little lines on it. And I just think that this is super duper cute. I keep saying super duper, but like how adorable is this? They also had this in black, white and a little green colour. And this was also three pounds. It's got the little frills on it and the frills here. I think this is like the perfect length in top and it's super comfy. It's not tight. It's not loose. It fits me, which is good. I got the right size, but it's just really comfy and it's not too see through. You can't see, well, you can see my hand a little bit here, but like you can't see through it at all. This next one, I saw it and I literally was like, yep, in my bag. Like, I just love this and I don't really have anything like it. And I just, I just love it. And it's like, so I'll just show you it first. So this is it. Get rid of the label. Um, it's super duper cute. Oh, I keep saying that, don't I? Oh, hello. Um, so this is the collar. It's just like this pink collar and it has this little frills all the way around the edge. And then this front bit has this little bit here. And it's kind of like, reminds me of like a little polo shirt. And the bottom has that again, that little rimmed bit. So it is kind of similar to the other one. It's like kind of the same colour. It's a little bit darker. But I just think it's really cute. And I don't own anything kind of like that. And this was £6. Okay, so this is the next one. You have to undo the buttons to get it on. I'm stupid and I didn't think about having to undo the button to get it on. But you can wear with the buttons open. Um, and again, it's literally the perfect like length. It is the most comfy top ever. It's so cute because I don't have or like own anything like it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the buttons turned up. But yeah, I just think it's so cute. I love this top. I'm so glad I got this. Oh my god, I love this. Definitely a 500 thumbs up for me. So the next thing that I got. So when you go to the pajama section, there's actually quite a lot of tops and like shorts that you could just wear every day and they would work. Like no one would know that they're pajamas. So I just got this little top um, in the pajama section because they had loads of these little tops and shorts all in different colours um, so it's kind of like mix and match so I grabbed is that, is that right? I grabbed, yeah, I grabbed this little top um, this was £3, yeah this was £3 as well, quite a lot of this stuff is £3 which is really good um, and it's just like this and then it's like high at the back and I just thought this is super cute that I can wear with like some jeans or even some leggings and you can like style it up so I got it in this like lilac colour, it looks kind of white on camera but it's like a lilac -y pink and then you can also get it in loads of different colours so here's the one that is supposed to be a pyjama top you s oh well, I just shoved my boobs in your face do you see what I mean? how it's just it reminds me of like the 90s or I don't know what era but yeah, it just reminds me of like a different era or something like here's what it looks like from the back like I just think it suits so cute and they have it in so many different colours maybe I'll go back and get some other colours because it's like they're super flattering and super duper comfortable. I keep saying super duper, but just ignore that. That's just going to be my title. Super duper Primark cool. <laughs> the next thing which I got, I got these four pyjamas, but I used to have this top 
um, from the pajama section but I used to have it in pink and I used to wear it as every day you probably would have seen it in some of my vlogs but I got this white one to wear as pajamas because me and Sienna are planning to sleep over for after COVID and we wanted to have some kind of matching pajamas okay guys I just want to say sorry if the camera's moved it's just because I've had to end it and start again um not start again like I mean end it and then carry on so along to go with this top this top was I didn't say how much this was how much is this this was three pound okay so this was three pound and as I was saying they did loads of different colors of these and then to go along with them you could pick loads of different shorts so I picked these ones they're super duper I keep saying super duper cute they are really cute and I feel like these might be a bit big now that I'm holding them here but we're going to be trying them on in the trial haul anyways um they've just got this little bow it's not real like it's not actually a drawstring kind of one but yeah and then this bit's like elasticated and then at the bottom of the little shorts part they have these little frills on so I will be wearing these as pajama buttons but you could get away with wearing these with like a white vest or anything um but yeah so I'm gonna be using those pajamas but they were, had loads of different patterns of these they had some blue and white ones they had plain black plain white they had loads of different ones so if you want to go in there and have a look um to get your own like pajama set or even to wear the top as not pajamas okay so this is the next one it is the softest material ever feel um this is a pajama top as well but i'm showing you a bra first of all so i can show you what it looks like if it was a top and then i'll show you what it would look like if it was pajama so yeah this is it with a bra it's so cute it has double layer as you can see it's got this layer and then this nice this top layer is the softest you've ever felt and as i was saying before i used to have a pink one and they do loads of different colors so i might grab some more so now i'm going to show you what it looks like without a bra so this is what it looks like without a bra, basically the same thing, it's just like, it's a bit big for me here, I might get a size down just because it's a little bit baggy, but yes, super comfy and soft, nice to sleep with. So now let's put on the shorts. So these are the shorts, they are so cute. I do think I did it a bit bigger size, um, so like they are a bit long, and you can see they're a bit long at the back, like they're a bit big for me. Um, you can see it's like, they're stretchy. But they are a bit big so i might get a size down but it's just going to be pajamas so i might just leave it like this because it'll be comfy to sleep in if they're a little bit big um they are see-through so you probably wouldn't be able to wear them in like summer or something because the sun will probably go through them because i am wearing black knickers underneath though so you can like really see them but yeah it's just super really super comfy and i would get a size up if you wanted to be like mine where it is a little bit big but it's really annoying, right, guys, tell me if you had this problem. So I have a big bum, but a small waist. I'm not trying to be like one of those people who are like, oh, I have small bum, big waist, whatever. But I do, that's just like the reality. And it's not a good thing to have. If you guys want it, why? Because trying, I tried to get a denim skirt yesterday. I pull it over and it's too tight here. So I go big, big enough to get over my bum. But once I get to my bum, it's like really big here. If I want one to fit my waist, I have to get a tight, a small one that fits my waist and pull it right over my bum it looks forever to get right over my bum and then it gets and then it gets on my waist and it's impossible to get off or because it's like skinny here it goes to there and then it just goes out and like it just doesn't look good but yeah these are super comfy and they fit my bum but not my waist but they're super comfy and that's what you need for when you're sleeping then that i got so basically my granddad gave me some jog and bottoms ages ago and then my mum put them in the tumble dryer and they shrunk so i went to the men's section and i got myself some jogging bottoms so they look really big but i wanted them to be like oversized and comfy i don't like the really skinny look ones so these ones were five pounds they just have this stretchy bit here and they have ribbed little things they had ones without ribs and one with ribs <laughs> one without ribs you know what i mean so yes this is just them they're like hi <laughs> they're like really um long so i'm not gonna be able to show you the bottom properly and then on the back they have a little pocket men's stuff has pockets that's the great thing about them as well is that they have a pocket so yes those are five pounds they are super soft and just feel like they're gonna be really comfy so last but not least of the clothes is these joggers that they got from the men's section i'm so glad i got these i got them in a medium as you can see and they are perfect so they're nice and baggy they have pockets and it has a where is it bum pocket here they are super comfy and they've got the little cuffs on the bottom they literally go to this exactly like the perfect thing they're like not too baggy not too loose they are literally perfect and super comfy so i'm so glad that i got them if you're getting joggers get them from the men's section and get them a size up for what you'd normally get because you want them to be comfy you don't want them to be skin tight so yes that's really good so the last two things that i have are accessory little bits so i got this now i wasn't sure about it i saw it and i was like it's really pretty but like i didn't think it would suit me 
because I tried on those other ones and they didn't. So this was two pounds. But I'm not put it on properly, I put it way too far back. It reminds me of Blair from Gossip Girl if you haven't seen it. But it's just like I just find it really cutesy. And like I don't know, it's like it'll be a cute to wear like a little to a little party or something. But yeah, there was loads of different headbands in there. They had this in black as well, but I just thought I want pink. I don't want black because I wear black way too much. I'm wearing a full black outfit right now. So I thought I'd get like this and just like it could spice up a boring outfit maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this on now. My hair is a bit of a mess today, so ignore that. But the good thing about this is you can wear it both ways. So this is it. This way. I just think it's so like cute and different. It reminds me of like kind of like a fascinator. And when I was younger, I used to wear bows all the time. But then, obviously, when you get older, you, like, don't wear bows as much. But it's, like, a cute, modernised version of it. So that's on that side. Let me show you on the other side. I'm not too sure what side I, was, I would wear it on. I think it does look better when I wear it on the other side. But I don't know. That's what it looks like. And then, last but not least, I got this. Now, this is really cool. So, look, this bit looks smooth. When you come in close, I don't know if you can see, it has these little kind of raindrops on it is it gonna focus on the raindrops D the texture of it just feels amazing i'm one who loves it's different textures i look so bright right now don't i is it just me if it's in it really bright i don't know but yes i couldn't obviously open it in the shop to see what the wand looks like but it's an it said acrylash and i thought it was gonna be blue for a second and, and i was like oh my god but it is black it says black on it and it is a waterproof one and then when i got home i looked at the wand and i was like yes perfect can i just say look how like clean the edge of this is where no one's used it before that noise and this is what the one looks like not too big not too small perfect one and it's good because it's waterproof and i watch lots of sad movies so i need this and this was £2.50 so i've got no makeup on right now so i'm gonna tie my hair up and we can do the mascara so ignore my hair i just put it in a quick messy bun but yes we're gonna test this out now i'm gonna test it out using the camera so Come in a little bit closer so you can actually see. I'm going to try my best to do this because the camera's down there, but I'm going to have to look at myself at some points to actually do it. So this is the wand. I did show it before, but I'll show you again. Okay, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. It's just I have to look at what I'm doing. As you can see, that's before mascara and that's after it. I do put a little bit on. Oh, ignore my hair. It's kind of like falling out. I do put a little bit on the bottom lashes too. Some people, I know that some people don't. So look, I've already got mess on the mascara. Yeah, some people don't do this. Guys, I was doing it and I got some, like a giant bit. How do you do that? That's why you need to know as a mirror guy. So ignore that. This is what the mascara turned out like. I think it's so nice. And why don't I just move you down then you'll be able to see. Eyes open, that's what. It looks like a nice close-up for you here. Yep. So that is everything that I got at Primark. So thank you guys for watching my haul. I'm going to go back on Sunday. So anything else I get, I can do a part two. And yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Click the bell, don't know what side, to get notified whenever I upload. I upload every Wednesday and from the 28th of May I'm going to be trying to upload twice a week. So probably on Wednesday and Saturday, but depending, I don't know if there's going to, that's going to be the exact days. Just because I finished school on the 28th of May and so I'm going to be trying to upload twice. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you do, I've already said this, but yes. Um, and also comment down below um, what you got from Primark and yeah, uh, and if you got any of the same ones and how much you spent because... I didn't actually spend that much to be honest compared to how much I thought it was going to. So yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Bye. Mwah.